Hi, I'm Adam and welcome to First... I've got Gary Goff with me here today. Very, very helpful right from the start. Let's try that again. Hi, I'm Adam and welcome to First Man Photography. Today I am out and about in the Lake District again shooting some landscape photography. It's a bit different today though, it's a collaboration with Gary Goff. We'll talk about him a bit more a little later on, but we're also going to do a bit of wild camping and there should be a nice sunset tonight. It's an absolutely beautiful day. We're going to camp right on top of the mountain and hopefully get some stunning, stunning light towards the end of the day. The thing is though, I would like you to come with me. Gary. <laughs> Perfect. I'm not sweating at all. I, I've definitely not had a breath. We are actually going up one of the tallest mountains in the Lake District today. The world, it's the world. Having said that, it's a nice steady incline. Uh, it is hot though, I'm not complaining. It's all gonna be worth it when we get to the top. That's what I've been telling Gary anyway. Like I said, I'm here with Gary Goff. He is just down there washing his face in that pool at the moment, but I'll get him up here in a minute to introduce him. But Gary is a top-notch, top-notch photographer. He's a professional photographer. He has a big, beautiful studio. He does weddings. He's also a great landscape photographer as well. So you should definitely check out his channel. What I particularly like about his landscape work is his blue hour shots. So I'm gonna try and tap into his 30 years plus experience as professional photographer and hopefully it will benefit my work as well but we're gonna have a great day get up to the top I'm not really I don't think gonna shoot much until I get to the top it's very harsh light at the moment with these bright blue skies there's lots of beautiful waterfalls like this one behind me but lots of harsh contrast and it isn't really gonna make the shot I want it's a, it's a hard climb as well actually so I just want to get to the top get camp set up and then see what we can make of what is definitely going to be a beautiful evening right let's go and see Gary this is Gary Goff, everybody. How are you doing? Good to be out together. Very good. Very good to meet you at long last. Yeah, indeed. We've spoken a few times on the phone and so on and so forth. And uh, trying to organise this date today has been a bit of a nightmare, but uh, I'm so glad you've chosen this because uh, it is exactly as you described it to me on the phone. A very, very <laughs> easy walk. Oh, it's like a breeze, honestly. It's going to be worth it when we get to the top. But getting out shooting with a mate or with someone that you really get on with is just, it's great stuff. And when on a day like this, when the weather is just so beautiful, it's, it's pretty special, isn't it, Gary? And it's a good day to be alive today. It is a good day to be alive, you're quite right. Hopefully we'll get even more sentimental towards the end of the day when <laughs> the sun sets. <laughs> but we've got some distance to go, so yeah, yeah, we can't stay around at this altitude. Let's crack on. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Come on. Oh my God, oh my God. This is, this is one of the most incredible scenes I have ever seen. And the conditions are just, they're just breathtaking. Not a breath of wind, not a breath of wind at 900 meters. Oh my God. Well done. Not bad that though, is it? Take our bags off now. Yeah. Best view in the Lake District, I think. Definitely. Right, camp is all set up for the night. There's Gary's, there's mine. Uh, pretty cosy. It's just looking amazing now. Look at that.
So I'm set up for the first shot of the day and the sun is just coming down. The conditions have just been so difficult. My mood has been killed a little bit because the woman that's camping up here as well was shouting at me for using the drone, which I'm perfectly entitled to do up here, by the way. The drone's shouting at me now, now as well. So, yeah, I mean, it's looking spectacular, but uh, the light is just really difficult to work with. So, so let's have a look at this. I mean, it's looking quite nice. Let's zoom in a bit. I'm at 200 now, and I'm F11. I need to, yeah, let's just try it, see what it does. Bracketing the shots to try and get as much dynamic range in there as possible. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. This is proving really, really difficult. It's just so misty and the sun is just catching it and lighting up everything in front of me. So I can't see it, the camera can't see it, and it's just brightness in, in my face. You might be able to see it a little bit there. Really difficult to get a shot. The actual composition I do like is straight towards the sun and then I'm just getting some really nasty flare. I'm hoping that as the sun dips a bit and the intensity of that light decreases a bit, I might get something, but I think we're going to lose the quality of light as it gets towards that thicker cloud that's a bit lower. So, ooh, frustrating. See what we can do though. <laughs> Absolutely manic at the end. As the sun has just dipped behind the cloud, the light has dimmed quite a lot. So, it's letting me get into 200 and shoot the image. I'm still bracketing, but the, the flare that is there now has reduced significantly and it's probably something I can work with. Maybe able to clone it out. We'll have to see, but quite exciting now. The image is looking good. I'm at ISO 500 just to keep the shutter speed up a bit. It's a bit windy and this 70 to 200 blows about a little bit, um, but I've got some nice colour in and around those sort of horizon clouds that the sun is now hitting and it's looking pretty good to be fair. I'm capturing that mist in the mountains as well that's sort of over the valley a bit further away from me and whew, I'm glad I've got a shot. I've definitely, definitely got a shot. Ooh, come on. <laughs> what an absolutely manic day, but absolutely brilliant. Last shot of the day, I'm just doing, because that sun is going down, down, down ever so quickly now, I've just done a straight up handheld panorama. Settings, I'm at 1 256th, 1 2, 1 125th of a second to keep the shutter speed nice and high and keep it free of blur. I'm at F8 and I'm at ISO 1250. I've gone for manual focus because as I hit the darker areas of Great Gable, the straight over there, the biggest mountain over there, it goes into shadow, so I lose focus. I'm just simply doing this. I'm just going one shot all the way around, straight up, all the way around, and that's it. <laughs> Exciting towards the end there. Right, I'm going to go and get some food. I also want to know what Gary's been doing. I haven't seen him for a little while. What? An absolutely brilliant day that was. It's these kind of days when it's difficult that it really counts. A wiser man than me once said there are two types of fun. There is high grade fun and low grade fun. Now low grade fun is the type of fun you have when you go on a roller coaster. You get on, it's amazing, you're ah, and then you get off and you pretty much forget about it. High grade fun though, on the other hand, is fun that's pretty much hard at the time. It's hard to achieve, there are challenges to overcome, but then when you look back at that experience in hindsight, it's one that you will remember forever. And it's just, you look back on it as being one of the best things you've ever done. No one ever four or five years down the line thinks, wow, do you remember how good that roller coaster is? It just, it just doesn't happen. So this is the kind of thing. It's a mini adventure, I'm doing it with a friend as well. So I've had a great time with Gary today. So thanks to him for that. Make sure you check his channel out. He's a great guy great photographer and I think you can pick up a lot of things from checking out his channel. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I know it was a bit manic, a bit of a different one and I had a lot to think about so 
uh, I've done my best for you. I will hopefully be putting a video out on Wednesday this week. I filmed it today. Uh, it's about my gear that I had in my bag, but hopefully it will be something I can put together for you on Wednesday. And then part two, which will be from tomorrow morning, will be next Sunday. So uh, I hope to see you on another one very, very soon. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, I'm Adam. This is First Man Photography, snug and warm in my tent on the side of a mountain in the Lake District. Out. Thank you.